Hi, welcome back. We are solving the problems and determinants as part of matrices. We have been given that if the determinant of this matrix is equal to 0 and this determinant a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square 1 that matrix determinant is not equal to 0 we have to show that a b c equal to minus 1 ok now the approach to solve this problem is why we have been told that this is not equal to 0 why we have been told that this is not equal to 0 because if I try to expand this in some way I should be able to get a factor of this and ABC plus 1 this should be nothing but equal to ABC plus 1 into this then he already told us that this is not equal to 0 so then ABC plus 1 should be equal to 0 that will give me ABC equal to minus 1 so to solve that first my approach what we should follow now is to how I can convert this into this this matrix okay let's have a look at that right so let's go ahead and do that one what we will do first is we'll take this as it is a a square can I say a cube plus 1 b b square b cube plus 1 c c square c cube plus 1 and if for a minute if you forget about this a cube b cube c cube you see that a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square 1 that's what is being given that it's not equal to 0 now also you know that if you have determinant like this you can write it as sum of two determinants mat two matrices how you can write it as you can write it as a a square a cube b b square b cube then c c square c cube plus the remaining elements will be as it is only where you are adding them that will be nothing but changed so it will be a b c a square b square c square you will have 1 1 and 1 this is a property of determinants let me repeat that again anytime if you see that you have in particular one column you have sum of two to express some some like this right you can actually make it into two you can make it into two different determinants so determinant of this matrix is nothing but equal to determinant of this matrix plus determinant of first matrix plus determinant of second matrix that's what we know as a property of determinant okay right now I'm very happy because this is what they said is not equal to zero now this is fine now what about here can I convert this also the first matrix into the form of second so that I can take something common there so let us do let us look at that one see here if I take first row can I take a common if I take second row can I take B common yes because B B square B cube in the third row I can take C common that means I can write it as a B C into if I take a common I will have 1 a a square and similarly I will have 1 b b square I will have 1 c c square then I will have plus whatever earlier we have that is a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square 1 now we are almost there looks to be right because if you see here the columns are same but the columns are changed the values are same you can see 1 1 1 yes I have 1 1 1 you ABC yes I have ABC a square B square C square I have and also I know that I can interchange the columns or rows if I do one one change the sign will become negative if I do another one again it will become positive that means the change one for each change the determinant value becomes 
negative and it flips okay so what i will do now my idea is to get this first matrix in the form of second matrix for that what i should do first should be a b c in the second one yes second is a square b square c square they are following it only the problem is 1 1 1 should be the third column but in the first matrix it is at the first one so what i will do i will make a jump here 1 2 2 and again 2 2 3 so when i go from here to here it will become negative again i will go to the next one negative into negative so it will become positive so there will not be any change to the determinant of the matrix so if i do that i can comfortably write this as a b c a square b square c square 1 1 1 plus a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square 1 now you can see that in both of them i can take this determinant as common and what it will remain now a b c plus 1 into whatever the determinant given to us that's nothing but a a square 1 b b square 1 c c square 1 but if you remember we have been told that this is not equal to 0 that means this should be equal to 0 if a b c plus 1 is equal to 0 that gives me a b c equal to minus 1 so if you see very clearly we have leveraged a couple of determinant properties in this particular solving this particular problem so what are the properties we have used we have used that if a in a particular column the values are sum of two different then what you can do you can make this matrix into you can actually distribute the values in such a way that you can make it as sum of two matrices what it will look like the remaining all elements will be as it is in the first matrix you will have part of the pa first part of the third column in the second matrix in the third column you will have second part of the third column so this determinant of on the left side and the sum of right hand side both are equal that's a property of determinant by that we have seen that we are able to get whatever the matrix we have been given that its determinant is not equal to zero but we have a problem i see that when i take abc common i am not actually maintaining the position of columns so there is another property which says that if you switch a row or a column from its position to left side or right side you will be multiplying with negative one so if i do two flips from one to two and two to three then what happens it will remain as positive only so that's how we arrived that abc plus one into the determinant of the matrix is equal to zero but we have been told that this is not equal to zero so we are forced to say abc plus one equal to zero because the other factor is not equal to zero so if abc plus one equal to zero then abc is equal to minus one i hope i hope you are comfortable with that approach okay so we'll solve some more problems in the next video Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. Please let me know your feedback to the mail ID loveteachingmaths at gmail.com. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.